Hello and welcome to this class. In our last class, I showed you how to add products from AliExpress to your website. Okay, I showed you how you can, you know, add the prices and you can also create uh, an identical product page where your customers will view and see information about the products they are making orders about, you know, before taking action to purchase. So now, imagine you have to do this manually for each of the products although ideally most of the time you may want to do that because it helps you uh, you know get more control over the content that's coming on your website and what you're putting but then at the same time you may also be operating a drop shipping store where you want to have as many products as possible within a particular category and you don't want to take time doing them maybe you want to import about 100 products within the next uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes so how do you do that you can simply you know you can automate it okay you can automate it and there is a plugin for that and this plugin is not free actually so you need to it's a plugin you have to buy it's about 67 and I think 60 dollars to 80 dollars probably so it's a plugin you have to buy to actually do this job and the name of this plugin is Ali dropship okay so let me just make a Google search on it no okay so Ali dropship this is the official website for Ali dropship right so get your own money making aliexpress dropping drop shipping business today so uh, Ali dropship plugin so this is the plugin so you see it's nine dollars okay so it gives you automation on limited products one-time purchases all the tools so what this plugin does for you is it helps you to be able to automatically import products from aliexpress at, with just a couple of clicks you can decide to import maybe all the products within a particular fashion category on your website and it can even do that for you automatically you know so you can see all the features here and it costs about eighty nine dollars so that's the plugin that actually makes this work so if you are looking out to add this functionality you want to automatically add your products you want to deal with so many products you know at a time then that is a plugin you have to use and it's just a one-time fee of eighty nine dollars at the same time, we should be able to get something free that we can use for now. So let's go to our plugins and add new. And let's search for drop shipping. Let's see. Mm, okay. So we have a couple of drop shipping plugins here. So we just need to figure out which one can actually serve this purpose. It may serve the purpose, but it may be limited in functionality, you know, because it's uh, free. So there is drop shipping and fulfillment for AliExpress and WooCommerce. There are so many others. So this one looks like a reputable one. Drop ship me allows you to easily. Mm, no, let's see. I will start with this one. Let's take the first one. So we just click on install. We'll try out a couple of these plugins and we'll see which one will actually uh, do what we want it to do. Okay, so we are just trying out the free plugins to see how this works before you then consider going to take. Uh, this premium plugin okay 
So dropshipping and fulfillment for AliExpress and WooCommerce. And it's uh, installed. So now let's go to settings. Okay, so this is our settings and uh, they say you need to enable this to let WooCommerce AliExpress dropshipping connect to your store so it's enabled then we have a secret key so this secret key is more like an authentic authentication key that will allow us to be able to connect our store to Ali dropship but to do that we need to download an extension okay so this extension is going to work with your browser all right this extension is going to work with your browser so this is the link to the extension here so let's just click on add so it's a chrome extension so that extension you have to download it on your browser either use chrome or opera so that you will be able to use it when you get on aliexpress so this is add to opera i'm going to okay so i think it's telling me something to complete go to extensions manager and confirm installation okay so it wants me to confirm that i'm going to make this installation on the browser so Okay, this is it. So I'm going to enable this and then install. So you may not see all of this on your own system. That's because I'm using another browser. If it's a Chrome browser, you may not see any of this. So you don't have to worry about this. But if you see it, just follow the steps I'm taking. Okay, so now the extension has been installed and it says this icon will be visible when the extension can act on the current page that is i need to be on the aliexpress page for this extension to work okay so we're done let's close this and we can go back and then i'll click save okay now let's go to aliexpress i will go back to this uh iphone 11 page i was working on the other time so i'm gonna refresh this so this is the iphone 11 page i was working on okay So this is the plugin we installed. That's the extension. So I'm going to click on that to see what happens. All right. So it's, asked, it's asking me now for my domain. So my domain name. So you see why it's important to have this domain. My domain name is iomidejohnson.com.ng. I will copy that out. Okay. And then I'm going to provide it right here then it needs the secret key if you remember we have a secret key this so copy this secret key then we can go back paste it right here all right now shipping method it's asking us for the products we want to look out for now another thing i need to uh let you guys know is this shipping method although i'll probably go deep into it later but most of the time when you want to order products from aliexpress a better method for shipping is e-packet all right there is standard shipping premium shipping there are so many dhl ups it depends on your product but the standard you should use as a beginner e-packet please so let your shipping method be e-packets 
okay i really can't explain why now but just let it be a packet then click on save So I think by now our domain should be connected. Okay. So if you notice, there is a box somewhere here. Look at this box. Look at it. It's coming from nowhere. We really you can't tell where it was, but it's from that extension. Now it's asking us if we want to import this product. So you can see if you remember i already imported this so let's try i already copied this product before so let's try another product so we'll look for another product uh, let me search go back or let me just come back here i'll cancel this okay so let's just try to import another random product So this is a uh, iPhone 6s. So I'll click on that. All right. So now this box is here again, and then I just have to click on imports right now. So I'm going to import this product. So now they say e packet is not available for this product. Do you still want to import? Remember we chose e packet as the delivery option, but since it's not available. We are just using it as a test anyway so okay so this product is importing right now and now it has imported okay so what we have to do now let's go to our website let's see if anything new has happened Let's go to our products page. All products. Okay, nothing has happened. So there is an import list somewhere. Okay, so I'm trying to search for it. Let's try again. Okay, so I'm trying to look for where it imports that product. Okay, uh, uh, what this plugin does is once you import the product, it saves it somewhere on your back end so that you can review it. Because you know, I said most of the time you really want to be very manual about what you are importing on your website, you need to actually see it and you know, change the prices and do some other things because you won't be selling it at the exact same price. Okay, so. Uh, let's go back to our site Okay, um, we'll go have to go to the product is not here. So Because we need to review it. So we we'll have to go to that plugin. We install the dropship plugin Okay, all right now Import list it should be here. So cl uh, click on import list okay this is it so this is what we just imported from aliexpress and you can see everything here view on aliexpress that's the link to the item itself remove import now if you click this 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 product is going to get imported to your website immediately but you need to edit some things of course this is too long so we can change uh unlocked original iphone apple iphone success so I can just remove all of this unnecessary detail and leave it like this. Then SKU, this is more like a, you know, a stock number for the products. You can leave it or you can clean it off. Product status, what do you want the status to be when you import? Published, of course. So catalog visibility, you want it to be visible on your website. So shop and search results. The categories, uh, I think we created a category the other time so you can just type in that category and it will come up immediately so we'll type in iphone 
it should show up okay there is it there it is iphone all right tag you can leave this for now okay so uh we, we have not nowhere for price here so description let's go to description so you can see the whole product description has been imported you can see so you can edit this and leave, or leave it the way it is now variations so you can see the different variations of this product and then the costs so you have you know a lot of things you edit here you edit the normal cost uh, then the regular price the normal cost the regular price so this is the one that will be cancelled anyway this regular price sale price the cost and all of that so you can edit it here so this one is importing in variations because this product has several variations if you check you can see variations of uh, not there let me go down okay i'm looking for the variations of this product it's in black brown all right look at this is it see it's gray rose gold silver and then gold so these are the variations that were imported okay so that's what you can see here so you can see that this plugin is really detailed about what it's doing and then it's also in sizes so you can see the 128 gig version 64 gig version and so on and you know so forth so you can see then the gallery look at the images so it has helped you import the images straight to your store you don't have to go through the process of what i did by downloading the images then going entering the title one after the other and all of that no this plugin has done it for you and it's free all right so you can see the images and all of that so once you are satisfied with everything here all you just have to do now is click on import now all right so this is something you are going to you know have to go through to really really get familiar with because it's where you get to control every of the products you import and what they display so i'll click on import now to import this product right now into the store so import now Okay, so I'm not getting a success message yet, but I think that has done since the list is clear. So let's go back to our website. Let's just refresh from here and see. And boom, you can see that. You see? So this has imported the second product and it even comes with the price range, you can see. So select options. <laughs> so you have different options of this product that's why it's telling you to select options because there is the size bundle and there is a color bundle so you can see what this has really done for you it has really made it very automated like all of this you don't have to do it yourself just import it copy and paste okay so you can see the description if the buyer can choose the particular iphone they want 32 gig uh, rose gold look at that with the image so it's all automated for you you don't need to write code to do this you don't need to write code to do this at all and then you can add this to cart that's your buyer can do that and you know view the cart so you can see so now it says 372 dollars to 491 it's 372 to 491 because they have different variants all right so each of these variants fall within this price bracket all right so uh this rose gold for instance is 409 okay so the list what this means is that the list of these variants cost 372.45 dollars it's not like it's it doesn't have a fixed price there is there are different colors there is gold there is rose gold 
there is silver so each of them have different prices so that's why you are seeing this this you know variant of prices here and then once i select another one for instance like select silver you will see the price should change now let me check another 16 gig you see 378.30 so you can see that it's different they are all different prices the prices are not constant but you have the power to control each and every one of these prices right from your dashboard okay so you can view cut and as a user you can just decide to check out okay okay so you see it's really easy so this is the checkout form we don't have a payment integration yet okay so that's on that so that's just the easy way to do this you have to install you know a drop shipping extension on your website which will get activated every time you visit aliexpress and visit a particular product page so when you see a product you like you import it and you can keep going through the aliexpress website keep importing the products then you go back to your back end then you you know you look at each of them configure the prices configure the title and then you just import them at a go once you are done so because you really can't import everything on this page there are a lot of things you want to change so that's why this is very very important so you can see this is uh, way easier than trying to import this product on a manual basis the manual basis is stressful you have to copy and paste copy and paste download images to your phone or your computer and do all of that but this one won't require you downloading anything it's going straight to your website so you see how easy this is very easy okay so that's just a simple way of automating your drop shipping uh, website and then once orders begin to come in all you just have to do is take the order receipt go to the supplier from where you copied that particular product go to the supplier and it may not even be that particular supplier it may even be someone else who has it at a cheaper price you just go to him as long as it's the same device same specification same product all right you just you know send your order receipts to him by right? that the customer will have paid you so you send your the order form to the supplier you pay them for the products you pay them for delivery and all you are doing is they are sending it straight to your buyer so you are using your buyer's address so that's just the way it works you're using your buyer's address and they are shipping it straight to your buyer your buyer gets the item they won't even know it's a drop shipped product so it's just that way you are not handling any products you have no risk at all so it's just that way all right so i hope you got something out of this class feel free to keep practicing this and practice uh we'll still go further on this and uh, you know i'll be showing you how you can do some other things like adding your payment methods whereby people will be able to pay with their card online or through other means so i will see you in the next class thank you